Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to thank all 854 subscribers. We're really uh, growing here in terms of subscribership and also uh, viewership. Just want to throw out there that only 15%, uh, that's one five, uh, are subscribers to the channel out of all the viewers. So if you could hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to reach that goal of 1,000. Today, what we're going to talk about is about six months ago I created this video on how to create an SLA definition using a service catalog variable. So it recently occurred to me that you might want to report on that same variable. Even though I'm not going to use the same variable that I used for this specific video here, I'm going to show you a real life requirement that I had from a CIO on generating a report using a service catalog variable as the uh, indicator. So I just want to show you, first off, we go to, within the catalog definition, I'm going to go to maintain items. When I click on that, today we're going to use the iPad 3 as our example. And then our iPad 3 is uh, the item that comes up. And then the variable that I created is called critical priority. And it's just a simple yes-no drop-down box. And here's what the variable looks like. Um, if you haven't created a variable before, before there's a, it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> then we'll move over here to the actual item. So this is the iPad 3. We'll notice this is where our item shows up. Uh, excuse me, our variable shows up. Then we'll move over to the requested items. So this is, um, notice here the table name, SC underscore req underscore item and then we would put in dot list here um, and then it would bring up this list and what I did was I filtered this out just to have the iPad 3's here and we can see here we have all sorts of approval states and a whole bunch of stuff going on here so I created a bunch of records for this then I went to create a report called service catalog variable and this is probably what you're most interested in right here so created it with the name and I did the source type and then notice the table name SC underscore rec underscore item that's our table name and then the type that I used for this exercise was the multi-level pivot table it's one of my favorites um, just love the functionality of this brings to the table okay and now I go to configure and I want to show you a technique called dot walking so some of you are probably already familiar with that dot walk, but I can tell you from that other video that I created <clears throat> uh, triggering that SLA off the service catalog variable, I can tell that a lot of people don't know how to find the variable names. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So in this column right here, I already have the Apple iPad 3, and you'll see here dot critical priority. So I already dot walked it here. So you'll see that under here that this doesn't, the critical priority doesn't show up right here. So I'm just going to show you how to put it in there. So we're going to do select rows and let's go back. Let's back up a sec. So if this is what it would look like. Let's just hit OK. Let's do select rows again. So this is what it would look like when you come in. You need to scroll all the way to the bottom. Click on variables. This little plus sign means that we need to expand it. Then you're going to have this window pop up. You're going to find your item, which is the iPad 3 for today's discussion, and then critical priority. Now we're going to move that over there, hit OK, and now I'm going to run it. You're going to see this report here. This is the output of the report. It's going to totally change. So now it's really uh, kind of messed up. We don't want that, but I just want to show you for demonstration purposes how to do that. I'm going to take it out, hit OK, click Run. Now you're going to notice here that I have about 45 or so records set up um, that uh, I really didn't want to show you in this demonstration, but um, kind of had to just to set this up nice and clean and then also do our filter. I created these records before for another purpose, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter them out and I'm going to show you how to dot walk. So we're going to go back to variable. So we have our variables and then guess what we're going to do? We're going to find our item. It's a little bit counterintuitive, uh, counterintuitive if you think about it, because this says variables here. So you might start looking for the variables, but really what you have to do is look for the item. 
So we're gonna click on this little arrow here and then we're gonna find our limit, which is critical priority. And then if I wanna, I don't know, I guess I wanna filter out all the ones that are, is one of, and let's click run. And now we'll see only the ones that show up that have either a yes or no value. And then we could even further, if you wanted to um, create another one that maybe you only wanna see records that were created this week. Um, or let's just say this month, maybe that's a good one. So then we, we're down to four records here. So that's um, pretty much the gist of it. And then if we wanted to go into, like maybe we were questioning why this one here is assigned to Aspen now. And chances are your uh, organization probably has a pretty well-defined service catalog process where it's one fulfillment group per item or set of items. So you already know this stuff. However, if you leave that assignment group field open to reassign it to other teams, then this uh, might come in handy. And that's exactly why I had that user requirement a long time ago. Okay, so here we're gonna see our record and if we wanted to go into it, We would click right here, we would come into the record, and this would show us that the assignment group is asked, but now we can go ahead and change it. So that's pretty much it for today. Again, if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.